CES 2016 coverage, sponsored in part by GoDaddy.com. Visit TPN TV forward slash GoDaddy to save as much as 30% on hosting accounts, get 99 cent dot coms. All our promo codes will save you significant money at GoDaddy.com. I am super excited, as I am every single year, to bring on Living in Digital Times, and I have Robin to join us back again this year. And right. Robin. It, it feels Whoa. good. Whoa. Welcome back. You, know, you guys are really trusting about those flying cars and drones. Like you haven't been decapitated or run over yet. So That's I, amazing. I'm still here. So, I was telling yeah. a story yesterday. In 2011, I got to uh, interview the GM NV concept car, and we were one of 10 that got to do it. And they told me to stand in front of it. They went 40 miles an hour at me. My co-host Scott's in the car filming the thing. He's laughing. I, saw, I listened to it afterwards. He's laughing. I'm scared out of my life, and it stops within 10 feet. 40 miles an hour, dead stop. And That's I, so and I just, funny. Like, froze. I watched a journalist with the first Ford self-parking car smack into another <laughs> car, and Ford's going like, "Oh my How god!" How did you do that? It, you know, because it says like, "Take your hand off the steering wheel now." And he didn't. And no, I and drove he it just, right in. Yeah, that's didn't. what happens. That's what happens. Take, I just stood there. Yeah, scared. I cried a little bit. Not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, uh, but we it's want, gotten better. So, what do you bring to the table to us this year, Rob? Oh my gosh! So you know, our whole thing at Living in Digital Times is. There's a lot of gadgets here. We think they're great, but how are people going to use them in the real world? And how can we help create the marketplaces and things that are going to make these products successful? So we look at everything in the context of life. So I'll say, in the f- if you go to our fitness area at the sand, it looks like a jumping machine. There are yeah. people on exercise bicycles, trampolines, wearing polar heart vests, what <laughs> ver- crazy. jumping. It's crazy. We got people sculpting their bodies with the sculpt. Th- I- Attractive. I mean, there are more ways to count your exercise, uh, both for athletes and for normal people. Yep. We even have Weight Watchers there this year that has a new app Amazing. and some new trackers. That's in fitness. And kids, it's been hysterical. Have you seen Mechanoid, Spin Masters? Mechanoid. I don't think I've seen the that. Mechano, right? Mechano, yeah. right. Mechano. I love that. So, so the yeah. original company name is Erector. Erector Set. The Erector Set. They have a robot. I interviewed them last year. Oh. They're in all targets now. Really? Yeah, I went from nothing to all the targets ever. Interesting. It's the coolest thing ever. The coolest. So it's a robot. You build like an erector kit, but yeah. then it can talk. You can move its arms and legs, and it will remember the patterns and dance. It, 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 it's, it's sort of the maker of the moment. Yeah. We also had in that booth, um, well, Lego was there with their dimensions. Love Lego. But S- Spin Master also has... Mm-hmm. Air hogs meets augmented reality. Yes. <laughs> so they're flying around these yes. air hogs with a drone looking over it in a fake city, spraying water on things, putting out fires. It was wild. It is wild. It's so crazy because you have this really great way of presenting, finding a product and then presenting it. And every year you bring up these products and either I've, my sons own them or we're considering getting them anyway. And then you put your stamp on them like, I have to get this. My cracked up one of the year, Edwin the duck. Edwin, I love Edwin. Yes. Edwin's like a little <laughs> yellow duck like you had in the bathtub when you yeah, were yeah. little, but he's all Bluetooth. Tests the water temperature, sings to the kids, his night This is a rubber duck. This is little a rubber, rubber duck, duck just like waterproof. any duck you've ever seen. Unbelievable. So funny. We spent our first day on Tuesday. When did the show start? Wednesday? Yes. In the sand. My days are all this way, and that's yeah, messed yeah. up. Uh, Wednesday in the sands the entire day. So we were able to see everything, pretty much everything you presented. Um, and you guys, we did beauty tech this year. I know. It's crazy. So stick your fingers in a little nail slot, and the next thing, just like 3D printed printers, well, you're getting a, a nail instead of ink you're getting nail polish it's amazing what's going on in all of our spaces it's just and it's it's so much fun i just love what's going on right now we had a fashion show and we had some gorgeous led dresses that are responsive to your environment we had materials that are environmentally responsive now changing color if it's raining or that there's music we had nick ferreros from project runway as our host yep and just like bringing beauty to life but the thing that blew my my mind most this year we launched a new show called the future of money pretty simple premise do you have any money in your pocket now i have a couple bucks like i have a dollar i, know. I mean like sorry these headphones That's are okay. really big what were they for like goliath I mean, <laughs> <laughs> they are not one size fits all but they are adjustable you can yeah, you can yeah. close up the cup there yeah. good tip i should have known that <laughs> pro tip um so so anyhow I don't know, nobody's carrying around money anymore. Well, certainly my children don't carry around money. Yep. So I decided this was the year to talk about what the 
lack of money in the future means to the CE industry. Yep. So MasterCard was nice enough to sponsor this conference to come in with a ring called Ringly. Ringly just lets you swipe your ring across the, every cashier yep. Yep. and buy something. Yep. So dangerous, but beautiful, yeah. beautiful ring. Yep. NIMI, which monitors your heart rate yep. and it's your authentication for your card. So whether it's your card or your phone, nobody is cracking into anything and right. it's authenticating right. everything. So we moved on through the shopping experience at retail and then I invited the Bitcoin, a lot of them. Yep. Main blockchain, Brock Pierce, Halsey Miner, Charles Lee from Coinbase, okay. um, Michael Casey who wrote The Age of Cryptocurrency. And I got to tell you, things got pretty wild because I can imagine. Yeah. it's not just it's not just for hackers and you know, sort of like right. the early days of computing. Right. It's, it's sort of the early days of the internet. The blockchain, the bank ledgers, it's Nasdaq, it's J.P. Morgan, it's Goldman Sachs. It's interesting. The banks that you go to, I don't know what they're going to do in a few years, but that you hear from kids, they don't walk into banks. Right. They've yeah. never been in right. one. And right. even even us, I mean. I don't think anything of traveling anywhere anymore. And if I got a few bucks on me, you know, and it used to be not that long ago, I made a trip to the bank to get traveler's checks to make sure I had something in case I needed it. You know, it's, it's yeah. amazing what's going on. And I love in Vegas here, I'm sure you've probably noticed them, but the BTMs, you know, which is, uh, of course, Bitcoin teller machines. Yeah. You can actually take your Bitcoin in and convert it for real dollars as you're sitting I can here. pay at one of the... Ho Planet Hollywood. I can Planet Bitcoin. Hollywood. I, I actually, pay. there's... I, I'm betting at least two dozen of them in town now that take it. Uh, I, every, just, I just remember seeing the, right. the advertisements. Almost every there, property like, wow. downtown takes them now as well. So, so. one of the guys, uh, Matt Rosneck from Tally Capital, who's a big Bitcoin guy, he predicts this is the year of the unicorn Bitcoin company that you will see, <laughs> you know, the first million dollar, you know, super... Bitcoin yep. launch. Yep. I don't know. It's um. It's, it's interesting. There's no doubt about it. Now, what's crazy to me, Robin, is that you've you've put you've you've stamped this now. You've stamped digital currency as something that you guys are connecting life's dots, if you will, as your tagline yes. goes, right? So that that's uh, that says a lot and speaks volumes to what you believe in will lead the future. Yeah, and it means what we did with digital health. You know, we said, I remember conversations with people at CTA would say, you really think doctors are going to come to Vegas? I said, I do. They're going to need these gadgets. They're going to monitor. It's going to make their life easier if they'll ever get over that curve because they don't have to see the patient every day or every time they're sick, telepresence. I'm recording your heartbeat regularly. I'm alerted when there's a delta of change, prenatal care, uh, diets and nutrition. You, st you know, you're seeing spectrometers at the show. You just yep. point the thing at the food. Does it ha is it really gluten-free? Does it really have peanuts in it? And so you're seeing so much on the medical side and the fitness side. And I really think money's the next. Fitness was a great wearable. Money wearables, they're going to Oh, kick yeah. Butt. There's no <laughs> doubt about it. Let's do this. Let, let, let me uh, see if I can get our production team to pull up your website just so that people know where to go to. Livingindigitaltimes.com. Huge plethora of information of what you guys are always up to. Right, and then if you go to the you know the archives in the gallery, there's always a list of things for you there. So um, I definitely want to make sure people check out that website because you you got to stay in the know, and uh, that's going to be one of the places to be. To yeah, just keep we'll tabs keep populating. So if you weren't here, we'll have all our conferences, all our speeches. We'll give give us like two days and right there on the you website. You got it all so, there. Any other any other trends, real quick, that you think are going to be starting to happen or that we're going to see in the next coming years? Yeah, I mean, I think the driverless cars are totally there. Okay. Totally there. Okay. We're a couple of steps away from that, right? It's just like yeah. right over the herd. And the interesting thing, I'm going to go further driverless shareable. I don't even think kids are going to want cars. I, They're I, just I, like, hey, car, come I, here. I agree. They're just going to sum them on their phone like we did last night with, with uh, Lyft Uber and Lyft, with right? Uber, you know, and that's your, you're right. What's scary about it, though, I think, to the automotive industry is that they're, I think they're genuinely afraid that the sales of vehicles are going to drop dramatically because of this. So. GM, what GM wants to do, and this is from many moons ago, again, I can always recollect because I see the trends at the beginning to where they are now, yep. and that's what CS is about, is platoon mode on yep. buses, yeah. where they have these individual four-seater vehicles that are all connected, 30 of them at a time, yep. and if your stop is a road off, it can break off, drop you off, and come right back into the yep. jail. Yep. The big what? announcement was GM just put money into Lyft, like right. billions yeah. of dollars, right. because they know they got to get a fleet out there that will come and, you know, and I actually think they're all going to do 
well. Um, yeah. And uh, so I think that's it. And then, of course, not just the Internet of Things. And, and you know, it's not you talking to your thermostat. It's your thermostat talking to your light bulb, right. talking to your refrigerator. Right. You are so out of this equation. Like, <laughs> like you don't even <laughs> count. Your whole house is talking to each other, and it's saving energy. It's giving you some peace of mind, aging relatives, houses in the cold, like the one I have sitting back in right. New York now. I can move up and I can move the thermometer up and down. I've saved so much heat. Yep, I uh, can imagine. Yeah, I so, can imagine. It's, it's it's just crazy to see that we we are living legitimately living in such a world now where it's rapidly evolving, and you are doing much like what we are is kind of divulging the information to make sense to the consumer and to the business person, the decision maker to go, this is why you need this, or here's what's cool about this, right? Because you get lost otherwise. And so I think what we're missing. First of all, who does the ins? Who do you call? Who do you look up when you need somebody to come make all this stuff talk right. to each other? Right. Major problem to solve. Huge opportunity for people. I think you know the stores. Discovery is still really hard. You go try and find an app. You know, uh, like, forget about it. Yeah. Right. And then you try and get rid of that app. Yeah. Forget about yeah, it. Double. Exactly. So discovery's got to be easier. And you know, we're dealing with a lot of smart people here. I'm sure they're going to figure it out. Now, could they just figure out the traffic a little better? <laughs> we, we, we'd be in much better shape. Uh, well, it's interesting because you, everyone talks about uh, as we move forward in the technology world, people are going to lose jobs. But in reality, all, all people have to do is adapt and change. Yep. If you adapt and change, you'll fit right in and we'll keep moving forward. It's like, if, uh, if you're did a you mention if, the horse and yeah, car? I did. That if, was you, you. if you're a horse whip salesperson, you're, you're probably going to move on to making tires or something. You yeah, know? you got to move to the next thing. That's and, right. And yeah. The business grows. And yeah. there's no doubt that the Internet of Things is going to bring huge opportunities for employees. I mean, when you're talking 20 billion devices in the next five years, that's amazing. And somebody has to connect these things. Amazing. So, and, you know, yeah. you look at, you look at uh, caregivers, you look at teachers. I mean, robots are going to replace some, some, but people are going to have to train these. They're going to have to educate people. They're, gonna, they're just, you look at the kids graduating college now. You look at the business cards at this show. Whoever oh, yeah. heard, I'm the chief geek technologist, I'm the relations right. repair universe, right. I'm the it. UI expert. Yeah. Like, so what do you do? <laughs> and people are just inventing based on their passions. And yeah. How cool, it's, how cool what, is what, that? We, hey, that's what we do. We, this is our passion. And you and do it so well. <laughs> And that's why. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but we get to come here, and many thanks to the CTA for making that a reality. Otherwise, people like us wouldn't even have a platform for this. Right. And uh, you know, guys like Todd Cochran have pioneered their way into the podcasting space to allow this to be a reality, where before, little guys would never get any, any buzz on no. press because the big guys only talk to the big guys. Oh, I started life as the editor of PC Magazine, yeah, so get, I yeah. totally know where you're coming <laughs> oh from. Oh my goodness. Everyone's got their agendas. Uh, that was like agendas. my Bible for years. It was a Bible. <laughs> it was like putting out a Bible every two weeks. It was terrifying. It was, and, and there were so many <laughs> companies and ads, it was like, got to get more edit in there. Well, what are we going to do? Review the manuals next? <laughs> yes. <laughs> For technical detail. Exactly. The boxing, I mean. So um, it was a great, heady time. But to be able to watch this all happening again and again, you know, in cycles of innovation. And print moved on. It right size. It's still there. But... You got, I mean, and big television networks are moving on, but you guys are rocking it. Thank you. How long have you been doing it, this at CES? How long? Well, probably about uh, 30 years. <laughs> With Living in Digital Times? No. I, so I was PC Magazine, right. and I did Family PC, then I was at Disney, and then I was at Yahoo. But seven years ago, I started Living in Digital Times because I felt like there was a platform that was missing at a trade show, and it needed to... Hear all voices, little companies who just are here on their last dime, needed to be heard, needed to be seen, and that we could do that. And because of my PC Magazine experience, we were taught to pick the winners, you know? You got to do you it. You got to have a good eye and say, I can help you make it here. So Interesting. Yeah. Well, Robin, so. it, is, it is a blast to have you on. Yeah. Every time. Always, Every always. time. Just need to come back again. I know. So we should hang out somewhere. We really like, should. Super. We yeah. should. Don't leave without dropping Sherry an extra card, okay? Yeah. Make it two, actually. Make it two. Get one to Alice there Don't as leave. well. So. Okay. Yeah. We're on for dinner, right? right. We are. Everybody. We have a dinner. Everybody. Tonight. Join us tonight. That'd be great. Let's do dinner.
Let's do this. So. We survived. We made it another <laughs> do year. Do we have to sing that song? <laughs> Only 360 days left until CES. <laughs> How funny is that? Anyhow, keep up the great work. You as well. Thanks, Always Robert. a pleasure. Bye. Great having you on. Uh, Living in Digital Times. Make sure you go check out their website, connecting life's dots in the best way possible. 